All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to make time-lapse HDR movies. Um, first, we're going to use Photomatix Pro to HDR, or high dynamic resolution, uh, a whole bunch of photographs from the time-lapse uh, right here. And then we're going to use Time-lapse Assembler to assemble those photos into a movie. Um, so first what you want to do is you want to download all your photos off your computer, oh, sorry, off your camera and put them on your computer. Um, and I like to save them in a separate folder. Um, so here they are right here. Then what you want to do is you want to open one of the photos um, in Photomatix Pro. So you're just going to drop it in Photomatix Pro. And you're going to hit Tone Mapping. And it's going to do some, there you go. So get rid of this. And now what you want to do is you just want to edit, you know, all these adjustments to your photo to get exactly how you want. Right, so there's all this stuff you can change. Um, and then once you have the setting that you like, what you want to do is you want to hit presets, and then you want to hit save setting. So you can save the setting of these photos. Um, and so what I would like to do is I'd like to save it to you know wherever I was that day. So this is climbing. So I have it already saved. Um, so you just want to hit save and then it'll pop up here and have a save setting. And then basically what you want to do is you want to close this um, because all you really wanted to do there is just to save the setting so that when uh, Photomatix Pro does all the photos it knows exactly what you want the photos to end up to look like. So next what you want to do is you want to go to batch single photos. So this is in Photomatix Pro. You click batch single photos, select your folder. Um, so this is, you know, so mine would be my desktop, time-lapse photography, climbing, climbing time-lapse. So those are right here. So that's the folder that I want to HDR. So I'd select folder, they come up right here, and then what I want to do is I want to go to Tone Map with Details Enhancer, right? So click that, hit Settings, and now I want to call what the, pre the preset that I just made, right? So that's right here, Climbing TL, right? So I click that, it'll adjust everything, and then I hit OK, right? And I keep all these the same, don't touch anything. Um, this is what I've experienced to get the best, best photos. And then what you want to do is you want to customize the location, you want to put it in a new folder uh, different from your un-HDR photographs. So you hit choose. Um, I've already created that folder. So here, climbing HDR, it's right next to the regular climbing shots. So this is where the new HDR photos will go. Hit select folder and then hit run. So I've already done this, so I'm not going to run it, but that's what you do, and then it'll take, depending on how many photos, photos you have, it'll take you know, up to 10 to 30 minutes. So that's how you create your HDR photos from a bunch of photos from a time lapse. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble those photos using Time Lapse Assembler. So you can get out of this. So now you want to open Time Lapse Assembler. It's a little program. And now what you want to do is you want to choose your source directory. So click Choose. And here we have climbing, and here's our climbing HDR photos, right? So this is everything we just turned into our HDR. So here are all the photos right here. Hit open. So now it, it's going to compile all those new photos. And um, you can save it at different formats. And you have to figure out how to figure out the particular frame rate you want the photos to play at. So it just depends on how many photos you've taken, you know, how fast, you know, what you're trying to, you know, see in like the clouds, for example, or, you know, rising of tides or something. So you're going to have to figure out what that is. Uh, my last eight, my last time lapse was 17 frames per second. So that's just a baseline. You can try that. And then you want to hit encode. And what it'll do is it will um, it'll tell you where to save it, and I would save it in the same file location, so here it is right there. I've already done this, obviously. Um, and hit save, and it'll run. Here's a Sunset HDR movie.